Welcome back to DOS Labs. We're going to be working on another part of DOS Lab. We're going to be talking about DOS commands that you use for networking. There are seven DOS commands you can use to configure and test your network connection. And we're going to go over IP config, get Mac, ping, trace, cert, ARPS, netstat, and net use command. All right, so we're going to get started with. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start with typing ipconfig, ipconfig slash forward space question mark. Again, to go over the quick help. So we have the three commands. We have all, release, renew are the main ones that you're going to use. So if you want to release an IP address, so this would mean you're using DHCP, and you're going to go to the DHCP server and say, hey, I'm done, give me... I'm done with this address. When you do an IP config slash forward slash renew, it says, hey, I want a new address. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do an IP config release. So you can see, we're going to type in the command. You can see that we have a message pop up. So now we're going to do an IP config for space renew. And you can see we have a new address. All right. The next one is the IP config slash all versus IP config. So you can see here, with the IP config, we just have the DNS suffix, the IP address, the mask, the default gateway. And doing all, we get shows that we're DHCP'd, shows that we're getting an IP address, a mask, a default gateway, and one of the other important things, it tells us who's the DHCP server and what DNS addresses we are currently using to get out and the other important thing is how long when I got the IP address renewed and how long it's good for. All right. So that's pretty much IP config. So our next command we're going to talk about also get Mac. So we're going to just type that in now. So I just want to show here you can see here's the MAC address of our network card. You can see this also matches up here. So with the IP config slash law, you get the same information. But if you just wanted just the MAC address, you could just type in that command. All right. So the next command. All right, we're going to go ahead and type in uh, ping question mark. Here gives us all our different switches. The main two we usually going to use is T and A. So one of the examples we're going to type in ping 4.2. It's a DNS server out there. You can see that we get four pings out, four received. Tells us how long it takes us to get there. The average, very cool. So one of the other things you can do is you can do a ping and you can do minus a and then that resolves the name you can see here it resolves the name of the DNS server for you or use DNS to resolve that IP address very cool so the other one is a ping minus t and then I'll ping continuously so you can see that's going to do more than four pings. I'm going to go ahead and do a control break. No sense of uh, letting it go. Last ping I want to show is also if we ping like an example Google you notice here if you ping by a qualified domain name it will go to DNS and look up that IP address and then ping it by IP. So that's kind of cool. 
So our next command we're going to talk about is tree cert. And here, just give me a couple, a little bit of help. And then if we go ahead and type in Google. So this would be if you have a high ping time, you want to know how many how many network routers are going through. So you can see here we're going through a couple different routers to get out. So we'll let this go. So far we're at 8, 10. Took us 11 hops to get to Google. So it's not too bad, I guess. So another quick command is the ARP. The one everybody uses is A. So you can see there's the uh, IP address just been talking to you, so that's in my ARPS table. All right. Now the other one is the netstat. Here's all your different options. So one of them I'm going to go over with is the S. So if you do the minus S, but another cool thing I just recently learned, if you hit space a number so like an example here five this will refresh every five seconds see now you see that it refreshed and then you gotta do the control break to get out of it all right so the last thing we're going to talk about is the net use command so we're going to do net use or space question mark here it gives you the breakdown giving the command the example here is net use drive letter and then space for the UNC which is the backslash backslash server name backslash name sure so you could do backslash backslash the name or an IP address backslash the share Now you can see we can go E, and now I'm going to CD into a new folder. And here you can see that I have access to ne network share. And then when we're done connecting, we can just go ahead and, as an example here, off arrow, and take that out and just type in the word delete. Oh yeah, you gotta switch drives back to delete that. All right, that includes our uh, episode on DOS on networking. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoy it. Put a thumbs up if you like it. Thanks.